All right, since Brown has cut him down, number one. one. The situation in Baltimore, the tables have turned on a high-profile murder case. I'll give you details in two minutes. But first, police have identified 20-year-old Alexis Rutledge in connection with at least two armed robberies in East Nashville. Rutledge has been accused of robbing two people outside their homes and a pizza delivery driver on Mitchell Road. If you have any information on Rutledge, call Crime Stoppers at 615-742-7463. Two. two Sacramento police officers, they shot and killed 22-year-old Stephanie. Fawn Clark, the unarmed black man that was in his grandmother's backyard last year. They're not going to face criminal prosecution. Mm. In January, Mr. Clark's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Sacramento and the two officers. Did the officers who shot Stephon Clark commit a crime? Her answer was no. Our community and its leadership have different questions. Was the outcome wrong? Was the outcome unacceptable? The answer to both questions is yes. Clark's mom said the district attorney has never charged a police officer with homicide, and there have been over 100. Wow. That's crazy. Three. At least 23 people are dead and dozens more injured after powerful tornadoes swept through eastern Alabama on Sunday. The most destruction occurred in the community in Lee County, an area in the eastern part of the state near the Georgia line. Governor Kay Ivey declared a statewide emergency on Sunday. Four. Remember when we covered the story of the woman from Baltimore, the 54-year-old, her name was Jacqueline Smith. Mm -hmm. She was killed when a panhander allegedly stabbed her when she was trying to give money away to the woman. Right. Well, listen to dad and daughter. I'm from Baltimore. The last thing I thought, that they were going to take my wife's life. And so now I got to live with that. I got to live with that every day. And they're so sad and they're just crying. But guess what? Boo hoo crying. Now police say the story was concocted by the husband and his daughter who have both been charged in her death. That's right. Mm. What a twist. Keith Smith, 52, and daughter Valeria Smith, 28, are both charged with first-degree murder in the death of Smith, and this is Mayor Catherine Pugh. And to Jacqueline Smith's family, uh, we are sincerely um, in pain for that family uh, and also for the citizens of Baltimore because um, this, these individuals took advantage of a situation, a city that is already dealing with its own problems. Wow. Not everyone believed the story, and family members have already questioned the nature of their relationship. And yeah, just, or it's like, they like, are they fooling around? What's going on? Right. It's like some real ancestral kind of vibes going to be yucky, and then you kill your wife. You know what? We're going to let God deal with that one. Mm-hmm. They Remember? caught him at the border. Mm-hmm. Trying to get away, trying to make a run for the border. Mm-hmm. Think Taco Bell, bro. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> officer Autumn Manning, a Metro police officer, is recovering at home from injuries she received after being attacked during the night while trying to break up a fight at an Antioch gas station. Marcelo Mendoza, he's 34, he was arrested Sunday night and is accused of beating the officer who intervened in a fight. Officer Manning is a five-year Metro Nashville police veteran. And that's the top five things you need to know for this and more stories. Go to 92QNashville.com under the Kenny Smooth Morning Show.